sustainability metrics that we all look at is energy, greenhouse gas, wastewater, and then land. Uh, the ones we're going to concentrate on today is energy and greenhouse gas. Water is a very, very important one that we'll probably do some sort of seminar in the future. Um, but it's, a, again, holistic. Energy affects greenhouse gas. Energy affects water usage. It, it all affects them. They're all intertwined. For example, for years, uh, when we would do a water-cooled system, uh, to save water, we said, let's go to air cool. So you go to air cool, makes sense. It reduces your water substantially, but it drives your power up. Uh, and there's been a few studies, um, I think Schneider's done them and some other studies that shows that uh, the water you save, actually the power plants were using four times that amount to create the extra power that you were using now. So again, this is a very as we get into this new sustainability world, these are the things that everybody's going to have to address. How, how are the decisions I'm going to make affecting people down the street? And they're going to be expected, some of these larger corporations are going to hold everybody accountable to make sure we're thinking about that. Energy, again, we're talking about PUE. This is just an example of what's happened uh, since they started tracking PUE in 2007. That's basically when this term uh, came to be. Um, well, there was a pretty substantial drop between 20. 2007 and 2014, but since then we've kind of leveled off. That's because technology is what it is. Uh, these are, and this was from Uptown Institute. From they surveyed their the top the largest data centers in the country. You know, we don't design things to 1.57. I think most of the clients we're seeing now is in the 1.3 to 1.4 range. But these were the larger hyperscale guys. So you can see it's a pretty it, it's leveled off. So now we've got to figure out what's the next way to start to start reducing energy. Again, with the amount of power we're talking about being using our industry, the data center industry in particular, is going to have a lot of influence on how we do things, but also how the utilities are going to approach things because 20% of your capacity is going to be going to this, you know, this group of uh, users. So it's pretty important. Um, so we look at how much total energy, how much renewable energy are you using? There's a renewable energy factor, basically it's from zero to 1.0, it's pretty simple. If you're using no uh, renewable energy at your place, you're a zero. If you're using 100%, you're a 1.0. So anywhere in the range there is what we, you know, we're starting to see more and people look at that. And another one is energy reuse. This particular photo, it's hard to see, but it was a, a data center that's being designed in Wyoming. Um, it's a hyperscale data center. It was really interesting. They're gonna take water out of an aquifer uh, and use that for their heat rejection in their data center. They have no outdoor equipment, it's all indoor. Um, and as they reject the heat, they're gonna pump the heat down the street. And in, uh, in Wyoming, one of the problems they have is supply chain for their vegetables. They're trucking them in for California. So they're, they thought, how can we improve that situation? So they're gonna build a hyperscale indoor farm uh, that they're gonna pump their water to and then out, offload the heat at this uh, hyperscale indoor farm and then bring the temperature of the water back down and then reintroduce it into the aquifer. So this is zero percent, zero water usage. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm sure they're still figuring out, but this is actually under construction. Uh, it's going to be 120 megawatts uh, in the future. They're building 30 megawatts today in the first 30 megawatts of the uh, indoor farming facility. So that's an example of a, of a company that's thinking, what can we do not only to help ourselves, but what can we do to help our neighbors? So it was, that was really interesting. Thank you.